Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how we can filter some of the records, the rows or the cases in an SPSS dataset. Assuming that we have imported or generated somehow the specific dataset that you see here in the screen in the data editor of SPSS. Uh, and we see that we have a lot of variables regarding some uh, employees. Uh, we could possibly, when we analyze our data, uh, wish to exclude some of the rows. So just to remind that uh, the rows at SPSS are being uh, usually are being referred as cases because we are uh, referring to cases from a survey or a, an experiment. So, uh, if we see that uh, we have a column here or a variable that is called gender and zero represents the female and one the male participants, we could possibly uh, say that we want to exclude the one of the two. So, let's exclude uh, the gender with a value zero, that could be either male or female, it's irrelevant. The way to do that is we go to the data, to the menu with the data functions, go to the bottom and select cases. From here, we can enter some condition. As you can see, we can select all cases or we can set a condition that will filter the rows according to that. If we click the if button, a new window opens and it shows some uh, logical operators, arithmetic operators, some values that we can use in order to generate a complex expression here in this box. The first thing is to identify which variable are we considering for this uh, filter. As we said, we want to filter, we want to filter the gender. So let's go and pick the gender, move it to the box to the right, and now decide whether we want to exclude the zero or the one. Suppose that we want to filter. If you look here, the filter is a positive, which means that we select the cases that comply with the filter. So, if we set gender equals to zero here, then, and press the continue button, then we will pick only the cases with value zero. SPSS is placing a cross to the rest of the cases, which indicates that the cases with gender equal to 1 are being excluded from any other calculation. This is pretty informative and uh, it allows us to check what is included and what is not. If we arrange, if we sort uh, the cases per gender in ascending form, then it's pretty easy to see that all the cases up to number 7 that contain the value 0 are included and all the rest are excluded from any further analysis. This is an easy way to filter uh, the cases according to 1 or we could apply a more composite filter. Let's try another one. We go to select cases and we can uh, possibly add another condition here. So we could possibly say that we want all the cases with gender value equal to zero and training equal to one. So we can add a new expression here, sub expression by the logical end. We said that we want the training equal to one. We move the training variable as well and we set it equal to one. So as you can see, we have a composite expression, a logical expression that combines two variables. So we can add as many variables as we want. Press continue button. Okay. And 
you see that we have two more cases that are excluded. So in our final uh, data set that we have for our uh, tasks, for our analysis, we have only the values that are not crossed with this uh, line. We can, of course, go back and select all cases if we want, or we can randomly select a number of cases by applying a, a, an embedded procedure that SPSS provides for random selection. So we could possibly ask for a 10% of all of the cases random. Uh, we don't know the exact process, but we assume that uh, this is a random procedure or we could specify a number of cases from out from the first 5, 10 or some other number. Or we could define a range between some and some other value or we could filter according to some variable. So in any case we have the ability to define a number of scenarios in order to filter the case is according to what we wish. And this is very important because in most of the cases we don't want all the data set to be available uh, for our analysis or the uh, plots that we prepare. So this is an easy way to filter our data and use them for our analysis later. Thank you very much.